Hi all machine learning addicts. Before we start with this tutorial on how to code a robot so it can teach itself how to walk, there are a few things that I need to let you know. Although this RL tutorial is for beginners, it assumes that you have a very basic understanding of reinforcement learning and machine learning. However, you do not need to be an RL expert to understand and follow along. Also note that this voice is synthesized using machine learning. This tutorial is intended to help you get from 0 to 60 on how to make RL work so you can apply it to your day-to-day -day work and projects. So what do you need before you get started? You'll need the latest version of Python, preferably the Anaconda distro if you are on Windows. You'll need an IDE I recommend Atom Editor. If you need any dependencies, you can easily install them using the command pip install package name. Example? pip install jim, pip install pibullet, pip install stable baselines 3. Today, we will use the OpenAI stable baseline 3 RL framework. I like this framework because it has a very good level of abstraction and a relatively low barrier to entry. But make no mistake stable baseline 3 is very powerful, we will train our robot using an extension of the of the OpenAI gym environment called pibullet. Our robot is an ant that is connected to a controller. And we have to program that controller so that it can teach itself how to walk through trial and error. We do that using a technique called reinforcement learning or RL in short. In our RL environment the agent, our robot's brain, will receive a large set of input that correspond to the position, orientation, and motion of its limbs and body. After taking every action, the agent receives a reward from the environment, indicating whether this action or series of actions led to a good outcome. This is a tricky problem because it is a multi-variable problem where we have to find an optimal way of making decisions, often called an optimal policy, able to predict, well in advance, that the robot is going to fall in the next 30 steps if we don't balance it right now. There are a lot of details of RL that we won't cover in these tutorials. If you need more resources to understand the inner workings of RL, please check the description for useful links. First let's start by importing the dependencies that we need. We'll need Jim for OpenAI Jim. We'll need the PyBullet package and the environments. Since Stable Baselines 3 now uses PyTorch, we will import it as TH. Lastly, we will import the RL algorithm from Stable Baseline that we will use. Proximal Policy Optimization is a very successful RL algorithm that we can apply to both discrete and continuous action space problems. Since our robot expects as input controls a series of continuous values, degree of force to apply to each muscle, PPO will work great. We'll also import Evaluate Policy. This will come in handy when to determine where our agent is in its training process. Next, let's create our environment. For the PyBullet environments, we need to set the mode explicitly to human so it can render. Let's set a maximum score to be reached by our agent. Next, we need to create the brain of our agent. In this case, we will use a 512 by 512 neural network that uses a leaky relu activation. You can play with these to change the training speed.
Let's now tell stable baselines that we want to use a PPO algorithm to train our brain with an MLP policy, don't worry about what this is right now, we will cover this in later videos. Let's set the learning rate and pass the brain neural net that we created earlier. Now let's train our brain. Here we are going to make sure we have a large number of training loops. Now we need to tell the model to apply the training algorithm on 10k steps. We will save the model at the end of every training iteration. Let's now see how well the agent is doing and we will save the results and mean reward. We'll want to see the progress, so let's print out the mean reward. If we get to a satisfactory score, let's break. This will exit the main training loop and end the program. We'll do a bit of memory management and we should be good for the training. Let's open up our Anaconda command prompt and test this out. To run train your agent, go to the directory where you have your newly saved Python file and run Python, followed by the name of your file. We have a couple of typos here, so let's take care of those. We forgot to display the average score. Let's do that. The average score was also too low, so let's set the target score to 2000. Let's see how it is doing after 10 minutes of training. 
since we are not giving the robot explicit instructions on how to walk, it often finds innovative ways of moving around. At least until it figures out a way that yields higher rewards, and in our case faster speed. I changed the learning rate to 0.0001. It was too high and the robot wasn't learning well. The learning rate is one of the most important hyperparameters to tune in reinforcement learning. After two hours of training and after our robot is slowly starting to crawl forward, but he is still very slow. We'll give him another couple of hours. This would be faster if we were not rendering, but we will do that another day. After a few hours of training we can see our agent has taught itself how to walk. I hope this helps you in your MLRL learning journey. If you want to learn more on machine learning, do come back. In our next video we will focus on increasing training speed.